I am an OBGYN and my second sports specialty is hospice and palliative medicine. So I see a lot of end of life and I see a lot of birth. So when I was in an OBGYN training, I'm in a call room and they would call you or page you. I would be so tired, but I would put it on like my neck because I needed something to vibrate me awake. And the reasons that you would have to wake up on a regular basis were to go and intervene in a process that is a sacred rite of passage, which is giving birth. And that means that we are interrupting this woman who's going through this transition. So really the start of my appreciation for what natural birth could look like was that I was being expected to intervene. I don't want to do these things. They don't seem to appreciate it. And it doesn't seem to be making anybody better. And I started really observing how do people do when they're not having these processes intervened in? And they did just fine. In fact, they sometimes did better. Not that there's a right way to do it, but could we perhaps improve the circumstances around ritual and ceremony as opposed to treating it like a definitive linear medical procedure? And when we schedule a routine C-section without any labor, inducing before you're ready, when we're doing interventions that interrupt this flood of oxytocin, love hormone, because of an engagement of the neocortex through fear, we interrupt the birth of a baby in the setting of a pool of love. When I say in order to change the world, we need to change how we care for birthing women. Mm. It's because I can't imagine a world in which babies are not born with a flood of this love hormone.